ladies and gents, I bring you more Korean Dota. Alright, this is the next song sponsorship league, guys. I'm Lysander Sonora. If you guys haven't heard of me, yep, I'll be giving you your English broadcast today on behalf of Beyond the Summit. And well, I say Korean Dota, I mean it in its highest, its purest form. We have FX Open, one of the arguably top here, um, top. And the top heroes, top teams in Korea right now. And we have the MVP Hot 6, the guys that sponsor the Afro commercial. If you guys haven't seen it, it's that drink. I think it's an energy drink. And looks like Koreans are catching up on this push meta. They go for the pub. Alright, so MVP Hot 6, they are a pretty decent team as well. You have to be in the final four. If FX Open, MVP, Star Tail and Underrated, they are the last four teams remaining in this tournament. 10 so, seconds to go. They are in it for the money, and like Five I said, seconds. highest, purest level of Korean Dota. You probably won't be seeing four world Reserve games ever time. again. I hope that bot gets immortalized. Radiant uh, immortalized, immortalized. But hey, let's talk a little bit about the draft. There's a Dark Seer, there's a Bat Rider, and there's an Alchemist and Lich Ben. Lich. I kind of get it. Alchemist, you probably don't want to deal with it. Bad Rider... Hmm, Bad Rider hasn't seen Dyer's that much band. success as of late. It looks like the nerfs really did hit him hard. It looks like the changes to some stuff really did hurt him hard. He just doesn't seem to be working as well. And of course, the Darks here, just all that wombo combo that could come out, out of it. Well, 10 seconds to go. And Enchantress actually banned out here. FX open. They don't want to deal with Enchantress. It hints to us he might want to pick up. They want to pick up a Chen. They have um, a good Chen player. Reserve oh, time. I believe it was Sagun. Was it Sagun's Chen? And they seem to have a new player. I think QO has been released from the team apparently. So they have a new player. And well, Enchantress banned out means we will see less neutral creeps and that's kind of sad for us. I guess it also helps to slow down whatever push that MVP Hot 6 want to throw at uh, FX Open. Visage is going to be extremely potent against anyone trying to defend towers, especially when there's Partner Blast flying all about, just Radiance chipping away at the towers and we already see a Rubik uh, ban here. And not wanting Nether Ward to get stolen, maybe even the Partner Blast stolen, not Radiance a nice pick. thing to have. And we see Chen, so the jungle is out of the question. The circus is out of town, Bible Thumb. Uh, but still, FX Open. Uh, FX Open, they are one of the best teams in Korea right now, have yet to drop a game. Season 1 gave them a little bit of struggle with a Crystal Maiden back in 6.78 a couple of weeks ago. But other than that, it's been smooth sailing for them. MVP of they as well, I think. Ten Some seconds good times, to go. Uh, in this league so far. So this is not the Super League, we won't have any kind of one-sided crushing from the Western side. Uh, but we can still see some one-sided crushing from FX Open, but I say Reserve it, I time. say it now, I might as well just go jinx it, right, might as well just jinx it right now, I say it's gonna be a balanced match, it's gonna be a best of three, stretched to its maximum, FX Open will drop their first game in Korean Dota history, well, I'm just gonna, um, just gonna say that, but I jinxed it, it could be a 2-0 stomp now, uh, I'm going either way, turn up the voice volume, alright. Venomancer. Right, Venomancer. Okay, so Dyer's FX Open, pick. they're going with something special. Uh, well, I would say special, he has been buffed uh, quite a fair bit with the Venomous Gale, with the wards. Venomous Gale now does a 550 damage in total instead of. Uh, let me do math. Instead of. Here. 400. Yeah, Radiant's so it's, pick. it's a 550 nuke. Instead of 400 now is a DOT, so it's not really a nuke, but it does a lot of damage. It forces your hero to be denied if you still want to have the well, the kill denied up from your opponent. But you still lose a hero. 550 damage at level 4 Gale is no joke. And of course, Gale being one of the best level 1 slows in the game, excellent hero choice. And Poison Sting now passes on to the wards as well. So the wards can be an extended arm for you to slow running um, 10 seconds opponents, to go. disabling Blink Dagger. The Poison doesn't really disable Blink Dagger, but the attacks from Blink Wards will. Drip, little 10% slow will really help uh, when it comes to chasing down target. And now, MVP, Reserve they pick up time. an Earth Shaker. A lot of map control. I mean, well, not map control, CC, crowd control. And with the Fissure, you can split up targets, go for those long range initiations. And well, with good timing, you can actually time it with the Visage Birds as well. And you would just slam any kind of opposition that FX Open might want to throw out at them. It gives them a good. Good way to bail out as well. So a lot of good stuff coming out from this Earthshaker. Looks like MPP want to do something 
cheesy here. They haven't really run. Um, they haven't any uh, really brought any kind of hard carries to the table. They've brought some. They've brought three pushes right now. It's three supports. Or really partner as a solo mid so Earthshaker Visage is a support we're gonna see what the other two are and they are very likely gonna be pushing heroes and there we go Keeper of the Light instantly picked up here and that's gonna counter up any kind of minion pushing but if you go for Nether Blast pushing less Shrek pushing it's gonna be a little bit tougher I would imagine Hot 6 might pick up something that can jump right now maybe farm a Storm Spirit on safe lane and get at him to jump at his Keeper of the Light when he does, when the time does require, well, the time does come, when he's at behind the back lines there, and just, well, he's behind on the back lines, just blasting out his uh, little horse. Ten seconds to go. You just want to pick go. him off, bring down the tower. Right now, apart from the keeper, they have Five no anti-push whatsoever. Hot six. Um, hot six. If they kill this keeper, they could Reserve be looking time. at some really great opportunities, especially when the keeper does not have. Uh, that high enough level to deal with it and yes if you get Necronomicons like you guys are calling out in chat keep it off the light will not yeah there we go Elder Titan all that cheese coming right in right now keep it off the light is not gonna be able to deal with that he blasts up the melee creeps he takes 200 pure damage and with a couple of fish or soul assumptions you can bring him down with a spirit as well so Dyer's ban. I think right now hot six have a pretty good draft FX open they might have to be a little worried but still, like I say, um, but as I say that Bounty Hunter is on the field, so if they get some rather bad trades, um, MVP Hot 6 will find themselves rolling over FX Open. And I really to like go. to see that, you know. First of all, there'll be lots of tears, and that's tears are always Five delicious. Seconds. But the second thing is, of course, is I like to root for the underdogs. And Reserve MVP, time. even though we say they are the better team, uh, well, bet they are the better team here, FX Open are no slouches. They have not lost in Korean Dota just yet. So, why not? Why not? <laughs> Alright, Klinks. Wow, okay, pit. Klinks is going to be banned out as well. Another tower pusher, a very clever banned out here from Febby. And Templar Assassin once again, taken out by MVP. A lot of Templar bans coming out as of late, and you don't really... You shouldn't actually fault that, because the Templar Assassin is a really powerful hero, can resist a lot of burst damage with a refraction, and you don't really have a lot of damage over time on Hot 6 right now. So they don't want to deal with the TA, no chip to their plans, and go. oh, we bring the Night Stalker, the Space Dyer's Maker, pick. the guy that will ensure that your dives from the 4 minute mark onwards gets a little bit hairy for you. So it does build a little bit more time for FX Open, but another thing, they put their Weaver on the number one role, which is something I really dislike here from Korean Dota. I think they do this a little bit too much. They favor the Weaver, they put him too high on that pedestal, and Weaver is really easily dealt with. And with the amount of burst damage on Hot 6, I don't Ten think that's going to be a to problem. Go. And right now, what I would like to see is actually a Viper to deal with this Night Stalker. Viper Strike is extremely, extremely lethal to Night Stalker. So I really hope they pick it up Reserve and deal with time. this NS. But otherwise, they could look at other options. They could go with... Nah, we'll, we'll go. I'm saying Viper is the best choice right now. Just pick up that Viper, destroy that Night Stalker, and I believe they will have a pretty decent draft. FX Open are heavily crippled right now. So if 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 MVP decides to push, they catch the Keeper off guard, they just push. I think they can do it. I really want to believe. Alright, uh, you guys calling for Meepo? I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> One can dream. Yeah, it could be a Luna. Yep. Alright, so it's be a Gyrocopter. Okay. Gyrocopter. For more of that AoE, I guess. More of that AoE. There's really nothing else to it. They're going to get more AoE on the board. And... I'll still say a Viper is good. Viper is good at taking towers, good at just destroying heroes in general. Heal two, three short supports, and he's gonna destroy Night Stalker. But now they pick up the they pick up the Gyrocopter, and well, I don't know. Gyrocopter doesn't really push towers that well, unless Barrage works on towers. That would be cool. Of course, he'll be heavily broken as well. So we're going to have a puck in the middle, I think he'll do decently well because of his movement speed. Night Stalker really can't hope to run him down early stages, in the early stages there. So, yeah, I'm excited to see how this game will pan out. I would have liked it if it was a Viper, go. but I'm going to stop hopping about it. The Weaver is okay, uh, it's going to be okay against the Weaver, the burst damage, Five just seconds. adding to that potential. This Visage is going to have such a good time. Now we're going to see if they go for the dual lane Earthshaker ta uh, Titan, or will they go for 3-1-1 uh, like in the previous version. Alright. 
Running through the teams, we have Radiant side. It's gonna be Better March on the Night Stalker, Ranto, the new guy on Bounty Hunter. There is Anarchy on the Keeper of the Light. Sargun is the Venomenser, and Fabi is gonna be pulled regen despite Ice Frog saying no. He still pulls himself some regen, gets a Wraith Band, gets a salve. On the side of the Dire, we have MP MV MVP Hot Six, Banwa on the Gyrocopter, the Hard Carry, Partner on the Solomit, Hyunji. And we have Kaiser on the Earthshaker. We have Mafia on that Visage and Forev on that Elder Titan. So, oh, they're jumping into the game now. So we're gonna wait for them and see how it actually pans out. So Cottle up top looks like? No, it's not gonna be a midnight. What? Solo mid bounty hunter? Thirty seconds to show time. Well, okay. Yeah. New meta right here. Solo mid bounty hunter. I don't even. Okay guys, welcome back to Korean Dota. So on the top lane we have Night Stalker with Kotal telling him, I support your Wayne. I support your Wayne. No, 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 Venomancer support my Wayne. Alright, so Night Stalker on. on top. And he'll be severely under leveled by, le uh, by minute 4. So I don't really agree with this. Oh look at this ward. Just look at him. What you looking at, buddy? All right. So we're going to top lane. We have Venomenser just blocking up the creep wave, and the off lane has been buffed. So, All right. <laughs> Bounty hunter middle. Support my win, indeed. All right. Bring up the stats. Let's go. Rento versus Hyunji in the middle lane. Fight. And oh yes, we do have a dual lane. But a very weird duel lane indeed. Visage and Fabi, he gets a punch to his face. Nothing too much to lose sleep over. He's gonna have a pretty okay time. Do they have sentries? Nope. What are they gonna do against Fabi? Punch him. That's right. Punch him! Oh no, I started something. Uh, Anarchy is gonna get a little bit of damage. The Void's gonna go onto him. But the Keeper is just gonna be a tool here. Kaiser is gonna run away. He has 300 movement speed to the slithering 290 slow of Sargun. So he's not gonna waste mana on a Gale. Anarchy is just gonna drop an Observer behind the tower. So, so far so good. Bounty Hunter already taking some damage. Two last hits to the 6 and 1 of Yunji. So it's doing bad. pretty good. It's so a deny. Sad. Gotta get right click. Too bad. So sad. And I think Beaver is probably going to get phased out here. He drops a South and drops the Wraith Band. Look at that efficiency. And Forev, he did play a nasty Nature's Prophet the first time we saw him. And diving the Fountain for a Rampage. And now he drops the Spirit. Spirit has been nerfed, so he has to be careful. But Febby, got to take some Spirits. And he's going to take some right click. Before Isukuji hits 4, I don't think he should get too close to the Creep Wave. Elder Titan should be able to last it fine. Anarchy still sitting at level 1. March. Trying to get some last hits on the board. 7 to 1 right now. I'm not even sure why they place this bounty middle. He gets his bottle. Hyunji. Gets the last hit. Anarchy having to plop a clarity now. Dropping two cuddle blasts onto this uh support onto, onto this lane. I don't think actually draining any kind of regen whatsoever. Kaiser has gone for stick. And I don't know about the debate with this, but I don't like getting branches when you could get a salve instead. But now you can't do that with the price increment and all that capitalism. And here we go. Are we gonna see a shot? Yep, shot fired. Anarchy getting trapped there. Bad fissure. But I'm still gonna trap him in. This could be trouble. This could be first blood. No, he munches through the threes. He's still okay. Is that gonna be another barrage? He drops another barrage. Is that gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough? Anarchy with the play. Soul Sergeant comes in. Good rotation in. Pugna comes in. Sagu gets punched down. Kaiser in trouble as well. That's a good fissure. Where's that Soul Sergeant? No mana. The fissure blocks him out. And he doesn't get killed. Right and now Pugna wants to run him down. Kaiser, be careful. Gets cut across the edge there. He's gonna go down. Nice stalker will just uh, walk away. He's gonna be fine. Ranto rotating Bounty Hunter. It's gonna be okay as well. And now, Hyunji. All of them here. Do Korean Dota, guys. Korean Dota. Five men. Ooh, missed. And FX Omar should be fine. Nope. I say. Nope. Just kidding. The Fissure blocks him out. So, this ban, Kaiser. He dropped a bad Fissure there. And, well, they're not gonna get the kill. So Kaiser wastes a little bit of mana back from his trip on the fountain. It's 2 for 2 right now. First blood actually goes to the Keeper of the Light. So very good play from him. 500 gold do in favor of FX Open. Tower. And Febby out of regen now. Gotta get some free space on the bottom lane. Benoit. Ooh, gonna catch the Light Blast on his tail end. So a little bit too bright for him. Even with the sunglasses on. Anarchy. Yes, boots now if he wants it. So Trilane has rotated up top. 
the way it should be. FX open. Oh, gonna blast ban while once again. The ward's just feeding EXP. They have been nerfed. The EXP increment has been a lot more. This is the right way to build Venomenza now, especially as a support. You just want one point of sting, one point of flick wards just for extended slowing. That's what I like to call it. Hyunji, gonna send his brunch back. Cool. Cool. When are you gonna realize it? Radiance mid towers coming apart. Not realizing it. Hyunji. <laughs> oh man. All right, let me just take a sip of Radiance this mid -towers brunch. Getting banged up. Um, nope. All right, so Hyunji still hasn't discovered his mistake. He's gonna try and take a sip from the empty bottle very soon. The Keeper Blast gonna miss. Gonna KS like uh, range creep here from his Night Stalker. Night Stalker is level three in the, in the first night time phase. Not exactly the best. The Void does slow for four seconds, so it's pretty good in that. Right, Keeper Light. Right, Keeper of the Light once again, not doing a lot of damage. Guys, I do not know how to turn off R R and I K. Uh, because I don't know, I don't know the hotkey for it. I'm so if anyone knows, you can tell me. I'll try and disable it later. Grab, get the spirits down. Fabi, what's up on it? Radiance mid tower could use a hand. Bounty hunter kills Pakna. All right, no. Marsh came in with a teleportation, so they get a kill in the middle lane. No track goal actually. Still level five. March is level four. So the Night Stalker rotation working out pretty okay for them. It's three for two now. There's a Fissure to block out Sakun. There's no Grace Chill to follow, so Kaiser a little bit too early now to get a punch on this Poison Ward. He'll get 16 bucks for his trouble. Night Stalker looking to rotate now. He's level four. Gonna hit level five soon. I think he's gonna farm up that small. Uh, group of Satyrs, get himself up to level 5, yeah he got level 5, he's not gonna stay any longer, gets the void up at level 3, 2 ranks in that, no silence on him, so that's one of the disadvantages to having a low level Night Stalker early on. So Pakna, has to be careful, no boots just yet on this Bounty Hunter. Ranto. How does he not have boots? Oh right, all of them on the overworked career, so... Baco! Getting overworked here, Fabi is gonna get an Invis rune spotted out for him, he's gonna bottle up. Gonna pop that, get that Invis up for himself, and... The ward blows up! Kaiser. <laughs> the nice stone ward there, Sargun. Just with the little cheeky plays, he has two points in ward now, Sargun might wanna get more points in Gale. Um, doesn't do any damage at level 1, so 25 total damage, which is, which is close to 16, 17 after magic reduction, and now there's gonna be a Keeper Blast, it's gonna catch the Keeper by good Fissure, gonna save his life there, the Gale does hit, but no damage, Soul Sunshine flies out, hits the Night Stalker in the back there, 210 damage, he's gonna just uh, salve up with that agility, agility threat, so he knows what he's doing, switch it back to threat, so, uh, strength threat, so nope, and Fabi still has the Invis rune, forever, Bottle, Boots, and one. So nothing much going on to him right now. March, as well as Ranto, looking for some kills. Looking for something. And they're gonna find it, partner. Just be very careful here. They're gonna wrap around. They're going up top. Guess they can see the vision here. Observer Wars have been buffed to last extra one more minute. So they will see exactly what's going on here. Kaiser, out of regen. Only with the magic stick. Vanwa as well. 400 HP on him. Mafia, Boots, here tower. comes the back. Wrap around. Quick instant rotation coming in here to kill. He's gonna catch him. Nope, the Shuriken catches him instead. He's gonna be brought down here. And March Radiant just diving the tower. Easy, easy. Lamb and squeezy. And Ranto is gonna get an easy Shuriken toss there. Level 4 in that. 300 damage. And the spirits will pull. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Gonna get, he's gonna lose that to the tower. And they actually pulled the creep wave through. So this might endanger them a little bit. The TP rotation didn't come fast enough. And Fabi is gonna bottle up. He's gonna get some XP on the board. Banwa comes down, comes down the bottom. The nighttime phase ends and Hunji runs himself mid -towers for that apart. double damage rune. So Bako, run away Bako! No Bako! Oh bye, rip. Rip Bako! Somebody iced the oh, Dyer's rip. career. And Bako does go down, the Radiant's bounty hunter does get a kill and it's a lot of apart. EXP as well because couriers are level 10. So if you kill a courier, you get a lot of EXP and you of course get that goal as well. So Hunji, continuously blasting up the creep wave middle. March is back here to farm, he has an Urn of Shadows now. Uh, it's not Bagel, it's Bako. 
White Tiger in Korean. Banwa? Kaiser. Still no boots, so hopefully we don't see this camp this kind of thing plague the Korean supports um, as long as it should. Kaiser, boots! Go! Boots! Alright, the Korean is dead anyway, so this might actually cause some troubles for his boots. Bootsing. Okay, he drops a sentry ward there. Doesn't find anything. The portal ward does keep tabs. There are more heroes up top. Bounty Hunter. Ooh, Visage. Not so sure why he's staying around here because it's very dangerous for him. Very dangerous. And he gets some EXP, so that's okay. But they're looking to wrap around here. Tranquil boots up on Kotal. Banwa. The boots, Ring of Basilius, they're gonna have three heroes mid now. They're looking for a little gank on to March, but it's daytime, I don't think they'll find him. Uh, yeah, definitely not gonna find him. They should look to do some pushing now, especially since it's daytime. Cortal is at level 2 now, uh, level 2 Illuminate, so... The opening width though for them to push is getting very low. They have to be quick about this, and instead, they're getting pushed. Pakna, oh, there's a blast! Good! Drain here on the middle lane, they will pick him up. So nice Stalker, obviously out playing his welcome. And the lane, and now the blast goes out, Pakna gets the tower. And he's gonna be pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about that. Fabi? Benwa, a little bit low on HP right now. Blades of attack. You know the drill. And that's another big go there. Fabi. Dire structures looking fortified. The dire might want to mine. Top tower top getting lifted up here. Probably not gonna survive the ward onslaught. It's still a level three ward. All right, so level three ward. Opting up to go in kill. Better mental will get the tower. So Sargun gives himself some good hefty bucks. And Benwa a little bit south of, a little bit, a little bit north of half HP, and he's gonna be okay. For Ref is here to lend him some, lend him some aid. I think a little bit too many bottles. And Kaiser actually goes for the energy booster rush. So. I will, I can agree with that. Mafia, nothing much on him right now. Pakna, he's being tracked up. He's got a double damage up on him. Nighttime will rotate in about two minutes. Yeah, two minutes to nighttime. And here comes the void. Oh uh, no, just gotta deny up their ward. They drop a sentry, they spot it out. Their creep wave is gonna destroy it. So, go creep wave, go creepy. All right, Creepy gets it. Sentry Ward gets denied. So Creepy out, Radiant out deep warding the Salty as the vision goes out along with the Elder Titan Spirit. Destroys the Creep Wave and they're looking at another tower. And here comes Kotal to cause a lot of trouble. Anarchy. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Yeah, it's gonna drop that Keeper Blast. They're all gonna back off now. Uh, rotations coming in. Bounty Hunter just wrapping around the top. He's looking for it. Is there Sentry Ward? There is Sentry Ward. Fissure has been spent. This could be trouble. Gyrocopter, he drops the call down. No, he's gonna miss. And now he's in big trouble. His vision has been dimmed as well. Banwa in trouble. Will he get caught? Yes, he gets caught by the Shuriken. Yep, the Shuriken will end his life. Dominating for Ranto. And now there's a track here for Rev. There's a void. And that's gonna be a kill. The spirit goes out. It doesn't help him at all. The blast goes out, but it's not enough. Six to three now. FX open in the clear lead. Three thousand gold. XP as well. The what goes to the for the goal for him. He's gonna work towards his quick buckler. And gonna keep his teammates a lot hale and healthy. Mafia, the ward's up on him, dust as well. Sargun just gonna hit up top, look for the rune, is it gonna be there? Yep, it's gonna be bottom, it's gonna be invit, I mean illusion, Ranto, just staring at it for a moment, Dyer's admiring his beauty, and alright, I'm gonna pick it up, Hyunji! Intelligence trance, drops another fissure, he's using it very freely here. He's still about 200 away from his arcanes, but this is good, rushing that arcanes will allow you to get that allow you to get that early kind of spam going on and Mafia could be in a little bit of trouble here. He has his familiars with him and if Sargun, Sargun is just baiting right now. Now nighttime rotates in and Mafia immediately backs the hell out because he saw that, he saw that wind walk coming out here from the bounty hunter. He knows that something's, a, a, well, something's fishy. He's gonna go into hiding and for Rev as well as Hinji, they're coming back now. They've pushed only 1,000 thus far. They need to look for a lot more. Fabi's going for a set of drums I believe and they're their Gyrocopter is not getting that much farm. March is just running around looking for some kills. It's night time. And it's 12 minutes. Ago. Spirits, Night Stalker looking to wrap around. This is where I said the Viper is a lot better than the Gyrocopter. Here it comes. Viper can lay down the da lane dominance dominance early on with his constant poison attack. Like when you push, uh, you go for such a push tower. heavy lineup like this. Oh, March. He spots him just there. No, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't spot him. He just went down the steps right away and avoided him. I think the familiars did. Yeah, the familiars spotted him out. Oh, they're trying to get a courier! They're trying to get a courier! Good, the crappy fire! And now, Ranto, he could be in trouble. No, he's not gonna die here. He's gonna get out of there. No stuns. 
I just realized MVP only has a shaker for a stun and well the die Bouncy has this good TP out there very good tower. reaction from him he will get out and he will not die there he'll live to see another day he tried to get that Korea poor Baco already a little bit traumatized with the previous Jinata strike he's now gonna be okay for blast it's gonna hurt it really does hurt. 300 damage. Kaiser takes a hit to the face. Gets a slam here on Anarchy. Anarchy Spirit? Nope. Spirit probably won't catch him. The horse a little bit too good. Buy his arcanes. Buy a TP scroll. So this is what I like from the MVP supports. Unlike other supports, we see them dying just game after game without boots, without level 6. This Earth Shaker. Level 6 now with arcanes. 14 minutes in. And as I say that, this could be trouble. They bring in the Visage. I mean, they bring down the Visage. They bring in Night Stalker. The Spirit's not enough, but Visage actually picks off the Coddle with his. With his spirit, so well played there. He gets a one for one trade, and well, at least they bring down the keeper. This could be an opening to push. And Hyunji, he's trying to do just that. Fabi's gonna run in, try and get some Sukuchi blast onto him. But there's a drums now for drums now here for the puck now. There's no tower point to push. He should be joining his teammates down bottom. He has the haste rune. Ranto still looking for couriers, trying to do some bone seven. And Banwa, ogre club on him, base boots as well. Dyer's How does go down? Ranto in trouble this time. They spray some dust in his eyes, slams him with a brick wall of rock, and he's gonna go down. So, well, Ranto finally out saying his welcome. He's ends his dominating streak. Who gets it? That's Visage. So, Visage could get his, gonna get the streak and could get some gold on his side. Probably gonna pick up an illusion. Uh, no, gonna pick up an arcane. Sunji in trouble. Hasted speed. Really good stuff. Unable to catch up his Night Stalker. The darkness just not helping him at all. And he's still diving for it. Drops an urn. Drops an urn. Uh, there's no one else to stun him. He shouldn't go for this. And they're gonna back off. So, very lucky haste here from Pakna. Not gonna get caught out here by the Night Stalker. Sagun point booster. So, rushing an Academy Scepter. I quite like this. I really like this. You really should stop maxing Poison Sting, bro. Kills so much better. Poison Sting just doesn't scale too well. I mean, it does, but... It doesn't do that much damage that you really need it. The Gale is a lot more powerful and... Well... The Poison Sting from the wards only does half damage. So you're doing 5 damage a second. Big deal. Onto... Well... Out of the laning phase. It's not really that great. It's not really that great at all. And... Mafia. He's not gonna go for Arcane. He's going straight for Medallion. He's gonna try and halt this push here. Coming from the Keeper. Keeper just gonna be blasting everything away. But now we'll have a face full of that. And keep an oh shaker side like, hey, let me share that with you. And he gets that as well. So Kaiser dropping down low, shares his bottle, and aw, Sharon is Karen. Kaiser gonna thank his buddy for that, pass him back the bottle. He's gonna be at three quarters. Weaver. 3,000 gold. Alright, Radiance time. Can you start pushing? MVP needs to start pushing right now. 16 minutes in. They really don't want to push because of this Night Stalker, this Bounty Hunter just roaming about. And now Bounty actually pulling the Creep Wave aside. And now top he ruins it all. I thought he was going to pull it down to this camp or something. And well, he doesn't. So Fabi. Got a time lapse that just to avoid some extra Dyer's damage going on. Tower. And he's going to chip away in the tower. And now there's a response coming in. Ranto, does he have a sentry ward? He might want to drop it now. They proper does. There's going to be a fissure. Good fissure. Cancels out TV. That's a death trap And he's gone. Echo slam. Just for him. Hate on you, Ranto. 7 to 6. Blows him up. 5,000 gold. Still in favor of FX Open because the track kills and everything else. But that echo slam, very unwarranted. He's just like, he's just like, I'm going to get that kill. Two, two kills to one right now. And he's feeling pretty good about himself. Kaiser with the KS. And well. Sakun, Vanwa here, gets the gil onto him, not not really doing that much, level 1 gil does 25 Open damage, not even sure why you would spam it off for harassment, you might as well right click him, Fabi, Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. Fabi is just farming, no one is stopping him, the relic scribbling? is coming, is there radiance, no just the relic is gonna hurt a lot now, Fabi doesn't have any defensive items though, so he can get destroyed, technically he could be destroyed very easily, but if... If MVP decides to just continue wandering on excursions like this, like, alright guys, follow me. On the right side here, we see an Observer Ward, which is one of ours, which is why we can see it. And now we're gonna pop some 420 right now. Alright guys, breathe in a little bit, share it, share this joint with your friends. And they're gonna go around, hey, follow me guys, follow me, alright. You see down there in the pit, that's Roshan, don't go near him, because you guys probably can't kill him right now. And what are we doing here? You ask, we're gonna smoke up, we're gonna follow Mr. Park now, we're gonna look for him. Weaver. 
Now Weaver is a species of bug that is really hard to catch. We call them the ninja bug. Basically, goes goes Tsukuchi, which is something Japanese. And we're just gonna be stereotypical here. And yeah, he's gonna run through the units. He's gonna get away really fast. And you really need dust as well as sentries. Anyone brought any? Uh, no, guys. So Kaiser, he picks up a pack of dust now. And looking to get something best smoke ever. There comes the crack. Nope. Hasted Night Stalker not catching him. Is this a good fissure? Is this? No, it's not a good fissure. It's a bad, bad fissure. And Mafia gonna get voided there a little bit. The bats in his eyes. March is just gonna flap away. The dire, my one. Weaver is up top now. Top tower. Free tower. That's his radiance right there. And Ranto has to be a little bit careful. There's a sentry ward. Oh, they saw him. They saw him. Fabi. 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 Is there a shaker blast? Shaker. Go. What the dust? All right, the dust actually catches him. The blast, nope, the soul jumper flies out, but the blast misses there. This is why I said for ninja bug, guys. All right, the spirit, nope, spirit not gonna catch bounty as well. So they didn't have enough lockdown for the weaver and they probably don't have. They really need to get some lockdown here. Need an orchid. Gyrocopter doesn't really build orchids that well and Earthshaker is not something you can actually look to do this with. Maybe Puckner, but he's going for mech and Visage really doesn't have that kind of gold. Maybe he should have gone for Midas, but Korean Dota has not caught up to that extent just yet. The Pakna is not doing a lot of pushing. That's one thing I'm really mad about right now. Pranto. Going towards to to CKB. Picks up the Ogre Club for more HP. And now, oh, Visage Familiars. Don't, don't, don't feed now. No, no. Stop feeding. Alright, so he feeds because they're looking for Weaver. They're still trying to kill Weaver. Oh, good Fisher! That's a soul assumption. He's gone, gone, dead. And well, Fabi, a little bit out of position there. This is why Radiance is not too good because when, when you do this kind of stuff, you get decrept up, you get fissured, you take 400 damage. Do you see that? The Fisher slammed for 411 damage. And the soul assumption to follow up will instantly destroy you as well. So the Weaver, Radiance, very little defensive capabilities right now. And although he comes really, really powerful and kind of pain in the ass. Oh. Well, this is as close as I've seen to FX Open having trouble uh, when trouble it comes to another team. So big props to MVP. And yeah, they pop the darkness now. Everyone is blind. Boss, I can't now. see! March, he's gonna find him now. And that's a crack. Instant crack. Not even sure why you crack it like that. But hey, he's gonna do this. That grave chill gonna slow him down. March, send back your spirit. Cottle's here. Cottle's here. Daddy Cottle's here. That's gonna stun him up. They're gonna land. They're gonna fall asleep. You snooze, you lose. Where is that fissure? Fissure in one second. Fissure, fissure, fissure. Then he's gonna catch two. Nope, he's gonna catch only the keeper. He's gonna get a punch to the face. But that's a nice battle ward. And the uh, Echo Slam with the KS. Mr. Kaiser needs to disband. ET's like, I'm out guys, F this. I'm out, Visage gonna go, will go down, so it's a 3 for 2 supports right now. If only you didn't blow that Echo Slam for that KS. But, they're gonna do it anyway. They're gonna try and Roshan, I don't think it's a good idea. They have Radiance, but... Yeah, they can probably do this, yeah. They probably will do this. The track goal is gonna be really heavy in their favor right now. The gold graph is saying about 10,000. Oh, the call down. Nuclear launch detected. Oh, the second one's gonna land as well. BKB on the Garakopter. He will pick up March. That's one for him. And the second one. Bounty Hunter wants some more. He wants some more. How are they gonna find it? Will this be a double? Will this be a double? No, it will not. Good kill here from Fabi. Time lapse at the last moment. And they will not find it. So BKB expanded for the Night Stalker there. Nuclear launch, not the best. Forever. Building a four staff, maybe? Maybe a hood, maybe a pipe. The spirit, gonna make it very difficult to push up the high ground. But then again, MVP, they pick the cheesy kind of lineup that really wants to deal with this. Uh, that really wants to push towers as quick as possible and so far they've taken a grand total of one and this one on the bottom lane can be denied soon so oops Kaiser Radiant's bottom tower in a pretty right, sad right now. Up again. Ben Watt is going to be bait of the day. He's going to sit and miss on that Keeper Blast. And now they're going to take, uh, take a look, a little, a little wrap around here. Hinji, he has a mechanism up, a little bit more, de um, more defense going on here. The Sentry Ward will spot out that Sentry Ward, but they're, they're okay. Sentry Wards are no longer spotted out. Sagoon, surprise! Venomansa, and he's going to get blown up. Soul Assumption does 600 damage. 
Oh man, 600 damage on that soul assumption. And well, he's gonna get blown up. And will they find a sentry ward? Nope, they'll come to fight. The ward will go down, but no creeps in the no heroes in the area take EXP or gold, so no problem. The track goes up on Vanwa, they know he's there. They're still gonna try and Roshan without the Vano, uh, not a good idea. But yeah, they have a medallion, so I guess they could take this pretty easily. <laughs> He's just gonna go into it with Track. Ranto is here. They have no AoE. Apex Ultimate doesn't have AoE. So they're gonna lose this Roshan, most likely. I say most likely, please don't do this. Banwa is low. There's a track, there's a mech up here. They're gonna try and barrage down there. It's gonna be a keeper. There we go. Darkness is up. Everyone's going blind. There's a stomp. It does land on two. The crack goes up as well. A lot of AoE damage. Aranaki brought down. Smacked by the briefcase of Elder Titan. March, he tries to destroy the ward when it doesn't really affect him that much. But still, a lot of heroes are dead. Visage, Elder Titan, all dead. Gyrocopter is back behind. So he's at home. He's back home. There's another. Oh, it's chopped up. OG's gonna go down. Kaiser will follow as well. And he will die. Triple kill here for Ron. So look at our Funic. Look at the Korean Funic, guys. He's gonna get that. And Roshan will not go. Uh, will not go to MVP because. Well, I would say it's because they didn't spread the damage a lot. Uh, they didn't spread the damage well. They let Gyrocopter take a lot of that damage, and in the end. They lost because of that. They didn't motion the time, and of course, going in there with the track of that, not quite in my head. Roshan will go down. Radiance will be picked up. I mean, the Aegis will be picked up by the uh, Radiance Weaver, and he has an instant DKB now. Track goal, too good, man. Solo mid bounty hunter. Dyer's bottom towers getting the business. Bitch, mid is legit, guys. I would say it's because the dire best they got do skill difference. That bottom tower. That's what I could say this is and Fabi with the radius, he's got his BKB now. He's gonna be feeling pretty safe. Still 600 damage from the soul assumption because of the decrypify and the elder titan is pretty nasty. So they could burst someone down very quickly if they do did do it. Right, Sagun has an Academ scepter now. So now his venomous gear, uh, venomous, venomous poison nova. Poison Nova does do 58 times 40. That's. We're gonna ignore the game for now. That's 700 damage over time. Yeah, 700 damage over time. And with level 3 ultimate, he will have 108 times 16. So that's 1600, I think. Oh, Fabby, feeder! If he stages. If he stages. He's gonna back off now. But if he stages for nothing, and that was an easy, easy kill there. For them. This is a really good combo, Elder Titan with the Blast and the Decrepted Fire. They will get instinct with their massage with the long range. Let's go. Why are you doing this, Fabi? Fabi. Oh, top the BKB. Good Decrepted Fire. Saves his buddy's life. That's gonna waste a little bit more time, but I think Fabi is done. He's done. Mechanism. Yep, he is so done. He does tap out, but still, it's a BKB for a support shaker. They're gonna take a tower tier too. But no breaking through the is it really that worth it now. from the 10 second BKB charge? I'm not so sure. Anarchy takes a little bit of chip damage and trapping back. And oh, taking a little bit of Garen damage. Gyrocopter, he's gonna blow someone up. He's just gonna roll in here all golden and big. And now, Fabi still trying to get the tower. Will he go down? No, he won't. And now, they're gonna make a turn around. The BKB is up here for Marsh. Marsh gonna chop it down. I was gonna get it. Nope, Venom is still gonna run away. Bounty Hunter does evaporate in that whole bunch of AoE. Beaver gets the tower at the back lines of play. Fabi. Don't do this. Radiance top towers and bad No Earthshaker shape. just yet, but Earthshaker is up in two minutes, uh, two seconds, and he's gonna come back here. They're gonna get a tier two tower out of this, and meanwhile the push threat, big quotes there. Um, yeah, only one tower to their name. All their alter towers save for the bottom tier two, all knocked down, and the bottom tier two looking to fall soon enough. And Kaiser, still no blink tag. They have four stuff now on Elder Titan, everyone's really blind. And oh, Ranto still looking for something. Is there a sentry ward in the area? No sentry wards, no dust. Kaiser just been a sad little guy here. They're gonna drain away at Weaver. That's gonna be a mech charge, gonna keep him alive. They're gonna recall someone in. Germinate attack is a hard counter to Garacopter's homing missile. Ranto looking for couriers, most likely. Drop a sentry ward. I just want to speak like Rasta whenever I see this ward. Why aren't you invisible, man? So Ranto, just gonna AFK right here. Take a drink. Oh yeah, for you guys that don't know, there's a little bit of 
I can give you guys a little bit of Korean culture. Koreans actually, not only the Russians, have a little bit of a drinking culture as well. They have this thing where instead of drinking vodka, they drink something like vodka, it's called soju. And it's still it's a clear liquid, just like vodka. And it tastes really terrible. I mean I've drank that before and yeah, similar to vodka. So Koreans have a strong drinking culture as well. In Korea, if someone offers you a drink, it is really impolite to say no. Just a little bit of feedback. Which is why we could be enjoying it so much. Now Fabi going for the massage. Now he pops the BKB once again. Is he gonna get away? Uh no. You can flap, but you can't run. And Weaver's gonna get out there. BKB Weaver, too good. Now the keeper blast goes through. There's a four star there. Trying to save his life. Is there a Kraken? Is there a Kraken? Nice echo slam. Gonna keep him alive. Is there a fissure? He drops a fissure on Fabi. The Garacopter tries to block Ranto. Ranto running away. The BKB not doing too much good. And he gets tracked there at the last minute. And this BKB Weaver just doing work. Blast, 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 blast. Nope, he gets trapped in there, decrypts himself, and he's gonna run away, and Fabi will get out there alive, very unjust of that, March is gonna run down, pops the ultimate, not sure who he's trying to run down, the rocket's gonna hit Anarchy, but it's not gonna do too much, a lot of heroes on the side of MVP are dead, 19 to 14, it's deceptive that the score is so close, because it's 14,000 in terms of net worth, and of course the goal is 14k as well, Simplify, not gonna do anything against this fast fast, heroes on the side of the Radiant, and you could probably try and pick up this slithering pool. The Gale's gonna miss. And well, Keeper as well. You can try and get him. No, like the Gale smells done. You can provide. And Anarchy Dyer's gonna just fall to five seconds. Which is kind of ironic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to decipher game logic here, but why would you fall asleep when you get hit by an echo stomp? It sounds pretty loud to me. Yep. But then again, why would bathing in lava heal you? Game logic. Game logic. Benoit. With so his mini PSP here. Or you can call it this Dreamcast. Just take a console there. Just look at it. He's just using two joysticks. It's not even scientifically. It's not even scientifically viable. He's just using it to just click, click, click. The big stunny missile in the bottom. That's a backflip. Must be really uncomfortable in there. So right now, FX open, just take it cool, you know, just take it slow. There's two more minutes before the eight minute counter goes down before we know it. If Roshan will come out at what time and whatnot. So Saku, he has a Necronomicon now. This is the best seller on Amazon right now. Best seller. Millions of copies sold, sometimes the entire trilogy is bought as well. So, Zagun, jumping on that bandwagon, buying up that book. Written by the frog himself. Fabi. Guys, is the in-game music too loud? Okay. Oh, they caught Zagun! Boom! He drops his ultimate there, but he doesn't really get it. I really want to hear the echo slams and all that. It, yeah, it's a little bit okay. So I'm just gonna drop the volume there. But yeah, they drop the Necronomicon, they kill off the creeps, and they waste the Venomous ultimate. So all right, let's just jump back to game music. Oh wait, the dire might want to mine the top tower. Okay, so I drop the music volume, so it's not too loud now. And Ranta, spirit goes out. Just looking for a search. Dire's top Lincoln tower. Lincoln's your BKB radiant. This guy is. Be afraid. He misses up the high ground a couple of times. The blast goes out. Keeper throws one light ball at it. Blast. Boom. Oh, March. He wants to go on Hyunji. But Hyunji, pretty tanky right now. Sentry Ward. Is that a gem? Yeah, Gem on Night Stalker. He has Agon Interceptor as well. There will be no running for the Daywalker Night Stalker now. Ranzo is going to catch a rocket. Not going to do too much. Weaver is doing a little bit of ratting. Oh, gets a stop. Oh, this could be huge. They get a crack as well. They drop the crack. Oh, they drop it. Will they kill him? Will they kill him? No, not enough damage. They should have chained it with the familiar stun. So what Dyer's is the Visage doing? I don't know. But they should have chained it with the Visage stun. That would be a guaranteed kill. But they didn't. So no kill for them. Kaiser. Be a little bit careful. Was the familiar stun and cooldown? Maybe it was, yeah, maybe it was. Pinji drops in Nether Blast, push off the creep wave. More light coming through the way of Cordle. March. 
no, not really a lot of damage items, but he really doesn't need it. Radiance, Radiance burn from Weaver, just doing all that work right now. Just burning away the creeps and Ranto. DKB, Vladimir's offering as well. I'd like to know what you guys think about. I'd like you guys to know. Uh, I want you guys to actually predict which two teams will be the last two in this in this tournament. <clears throat> I'm running out of my voice here because the Korean Dota games have been pretty exciting in the past few uh, past few rounds. Yeah, it goes in there. Why not just get a little bit of light? It's a little dark in these days, and what more can you ask for but night? And well, this Night Stalker is actually having a good time here, just popping darkness whenever he can. The Arcanum Scepter is really helping him in terms of this, giving him perfect vision. He can see up the high ground. Look at this Night Stalker. It's giving the vision for that track. Gold Graph? Okay. We're gonna drop the net worth right now. You can see how much, how much gold, how much gold that MVP is behind on despite them having nearly the same amount of kills they can say like oh man guys you know how close we were taking out fx open but nope they were just waiting for roshan so they're gonna bring him down now roshan is blind as well so you can't really see uh, the darkness here so it's gonna be a silence on him add that miss chance onto it did you not even slow him down but 18k net worth here on this weaver 10k on the partner 10k on the gyro so it's okay but the three cores on fx open are the highest the support are pretty good themselves saku just having his little farm Farm build session here with the plague wards and Benoit actually taking more damage than it's actually worth. Spirits once again going to slow it down. We're going to see a huge turtle fest coming out here. Ranto. So not getting anything special. Can we push now? Can we push now? Let's go push. Fabric Radiance Reaver. So he just wants to make his stat score look good, you know. Gets the ladies, gets the waifu, and Fabi. Head up there, seven one, getting his record mark there. He's getting his ages now, so it's a little bit hard for him to die. I think he just dive and kill Mafia here. Okay, double stun on him, Fabi. Good spell that soul assumption. Do a little bit of rapping. Stop. Slow. Decryptify. Could be a fissure. Oh no, they forced him. They tried to force him to the low ground. Not gonna help. The homing missile is gonna land. Nope, it's not gonna land. March is gonna avoid that. Stop tries to go out again. The fissure gonna be traded here. And that's gonna be a decryptify on himself. Fabi, oh, pops the BKB. He wants UG. This could be a problem. He does time lapse out of there. So not throwing there. Keep up the light. Blast. Visage just collects that for himself. He feeds the bird as well. Branzo takes 307. Not too much of a pickle there. March. Careful. Spritz. Catch Anarchy at the end of that, and a TP home Dive from this, from this keeper. Like, gonna get that stomp on the keeper. Gonna bring home the Night Stalker. Night Stalker just wanted to refill his health, his mana, and again, the Lincoln does get disabled. But a lack of stuns against Weaver. A really bad matchup. I'd like to see some Bloodseeker. Let's see how it goes. Oh, homing missile nearly getting there. In this, so it doesn't really matter. The stomp once again goes out. Oh, now they want to go for it. They go for the crack. Um, okay, okay. Lots of ultimates wasted there, and now March, he's going ham, he's going ham, but Medallion, the courage, just not enough for him. Ranto, he's gonna run away on his BKB as well, so all the fake echo slams on the ground, all that kind of scared them away. I was like, alright guys, we're backing off, and, oh, this is this just goes to show how much nuking damage, even through the BKB, MVP had. And right now, we're seeing here is just skill difference, and they're not actually playing their heroes to the best of their potential. And we can see here, Fabi actually getting pushed out, despite his huge item advantage. And well, Anarchy still sitting around. The partner, Darkness is activated once again. We're gonna see how much vision the Dyer have. Look, let's look how much vision the Dyer have. Wait, yeah, this is about how much vision the Dyer have. They can't even see past their own base because of the nighttime vision. They are effectively blind. It is running to the side shop there. Alright, pass me the goods. We gotta get out. The Observer is just keeping tabs. They're so close to their own demise there. If they're not careful, Aegis does get reclaimed. Three minutes. What is Benoit doing there? Gets four stuff. Gets out of his mana. Oh, what are you doing? Trying to TP out. Fabi gonna get out there alive. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna get out there alive. The Visage Familiars. Benoit once again getting caught out of position. The Familiars. Not gonna do too much. And now, here we go. Necro broke up for the Banamancer. He's bought the book three. First two were really compelling. 
to beat up the if you're gonna beat up all the guys now. And you're gonna get him down. Very easy on that necro units, but slowly but surely they'll lose the tower here. And once that happens, problems for them. Aranki can catch the spirit to the side. Is that an echo stomp? Gonna fly back. It's gonna send you what? Drop down. Where's the Night Stalker? Night Stalker's still in the middle, still with 3,000 gold. They are really taking their sweet time here. Flat cannon, oh, the four staff with the mana leak combo. Just doing a little bit of black carrying. So, Quartal. The dire wind. Quartal needs to give him some mana now. Oh, wow, oh, good echo slam. Gonna catch both of them. Both the boss getting caught out. Destroyed that huge on the killing spree. Fabi as well. BKB in. He tries to catch someone out. Is there a decrepify? There's no decrepify. Gonna get slowed down, Fabi. Very low, very, very low. Gets baited in. Nope, just not enough. And Hyunji in a little bit of trouble. Soul Assumption, is there a blast? Is there a blast? Oh, good. The crappy fight. Nope, just kidding. Gradient's a little bit too bright. And March. Benoit drops a hoping missile. He tries to get something done. He drops the black cannon as well. And the Dyer's bottom rats got problems. Dyer's bottom rats got problems. Ooh, Fabi, they want him. They want him so bad. They're not going to get him because no gem. And, well, Kaiser, Blink Dagger did really work out for him. The Bounty Hunter is going for the Rat Book. And, well, I must say, Koreans, you disappointed me. I thought you guys were all about the new strats, new meta. I mean, you went for Bounty Hunter middle, but you sold out. You went to buy the book. All right. Time for All Vision again. Febby, hard off on him. He can do some fancy stuff now. Feed small birds. All right, feed birds, no problem. And now, the tower. The Rex in trouble. Benoit really can't hope to deal with this Weaver here. They're at the stage of the game where they really can't deal with the Weaver. He's too big. They haven't pushed any towers. And... Weaver's just gonna chip away at Benoit. I think they could get him here. They're gonna try kill Weaver, but it's not gonna happen. The fissure only lasts for about 2 seconds. Probably less, yeah. Probably less than 2 seconds. And Anarchy has a Blink Dagger. So this guy is just trolling right now. It's a 4 staff. Probably gonna Blink on the cliff. Recall his friends, get him into trouble, and Zagut does the cloak, so the Agadam steps to the Necronomicon 3. Because someone is because someone's little friends now. Spirit does catch the keeper at the end of that. And March, Hyperstone up on him, BKB. Benoit. I hear the crack. I hear the crack. I hear the crack. That's good crack. They're gonna catch Fabi. Is it gonna be enough? They kill him before the ages actually, well, after the ages actually times out. It was like five seconds before that. They actually get him now. Good hex. Finally catching him off guard. And with this slow push, they might have get it crawl back into the game slowly but surely. Anarchy thinks it's a really good idea to stand around here. It's a bad idea. Nope, it's not. He has a flick card dagger. And now Sagun is gonna get punched. He's gonna get soul sumptioned up. That's gonna be a fissure. That's a big, big, big rock wall under your head. And he's gonna go down. Night Stalker looking for something. That's a very low forever. Just running here. That could be a track. The Venomous Sword. Oh, gem, 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 gem. Find him there. Gem. Is he gonna find gem? Yeah, he's gonna find gem. He's gonna run. Is that BKB up on him? There's a BKB on him. No. Nope. Yeah, he pops the BKB. Good sleep. Good fissure. All gonna send them all out. And they pop the BKB for a gem. Why not at this point? They get it. 22 to 20. Close game, as you would call it. MKB actually up for the gyrocopter. This could be out of. Could be out of hand if they get a divine rapier, they could Rose actually Dave do some damage. Look racks. at this rat cottle. Look at this guy, the rat of this man. Aranaki trying to rat it up. Benoit's gonna come respond to that. Range racks do not regen now, they have more armor, don't regen anymore. Benoit pops the rocket brush, thinking no one saw him with that. But I did, I saw it. And how about Dominator? Franto. Doing some rat with his friends, necro friends. The dire's bottom now radiance once again. For. The radiance weaver just gonna try and cause some trouble. Earthshaker does he find it? No, he doesn't find it. The rocket barrage, just not enough damage here, and the homing missile as well. So, but yeah, Necronomicon. Why am I not surprised? Everyone is doing this now. Avex open. Now he has a. Uh, they have an assault rounds on their side. Hyunji is just trying to blow away the creep wave. They're gonna wait for the next night time. Fissure. They catch him there. There could be an echo slam. Nope. Just kidding. Waste your BKB. Why not? Kaiser is gonna back off. And Anarchy is gonna be called in Ranzo here. This has been a really slow siege. 43 minutes on game one, and it wasn't even really that close. 
just a lot of red, just a lot of counter red. That's gonna be a fissure. It's gonna catch Anarchy, but it's not gonna be enough. Ban War in big is trouble. Nope, he's not. He's not in trouble. He pops his BKB casually once again. Casual BKB usage. Really good for help. Four seconds left on that pick. And Fabi's still trying to chip away the direct. He does. And now he's gonna wrap around from the side. Well, he finds something. He's just going for the tower. This guy just wants his money. He just wants to win the sponsorship league. Blast comes out. They're on their final ropes here. Ain't good for fortification, 5 seconds to death, but it's not gonna matter if that's a BKB to ensure he gets that done. The Drax goes down, the tower goes down top, that's a big echo slam, catches them at the edge of that. And Ranto gonna get in the cracker, and M FX will march, does he have his BKB, 4 seconds on that one. And they're gonna chase him down, but still, they're not gonna get any map control out of this. They're trying to get Benwa, is he gonna die? He will take over from the poison sting, OP. And the heck comes out of Fabi. Will he go down? No, he won't, because he is tanky. Tanky Fabi in the house, he's gonna try and clip away a Mafia, Mafia Graves chills him up, no problem, GG coming up from PG. Strip full kill here for Sargoon, he had a great, great game, really fun. How often do you see a Venomance that bumps this much without a Midas as well? 26-21, the Throne will fall, it's a 35k goal lead, and MVP finally die under the onslaught of Red, as well as skill difference. FX Open remain undefeated in this tournament in this entire season of Korean Dota, so 26-21, we're back here for game two very shortly. I'm Lysander Zonora. If you like my casting, follow me on twitch.tv slash Lysander Zonora. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and all that good stuff. Remember, follow BTS as well for more updates on to, uh, on, to fur on further games. So, yeah, Radiant Victory, MVP. Can they pull it back in game two, or will it be a 2 0 stomp from FX Open? Well, it remains to be seen. We're going to come back very shortly. Much love and Kappa.